Oh. Not doing good today. Is 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 bad. Is bad. I've been trying to learn that song for like three days now, and it has not gotten any better. That's okay. Uh, one of these days. One of these. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Bam! Right off to the moon. Right in the kisser. All right. Back in the day when uh, wife abuse and spousal abuse was normal. <laughs> Ugh. There was a time, and your parents probably lived through it. <laughs> uh, thanks, Am- Am- Ambu Glitch. I fucking suck at it. Trying to get better. That's a really, like, for me, that's a tough song. Uh, it's uh, Dance Gavin Dance at the beginning of, um, I think it's the, the song's called Son of Robot. It's a, it's a, it's a whopper, I'll tell you that. That was a pain in the D to, to figure out. How you doing? How's your night going so far? I just started this. I'm probably going to get... Oh, I, I set this to, like, random, so I got to, like, hunt for all my freaking dailies. And oh, there's one. Oh. Ah. I, uh, I thought I was out of this freaking game. And then, um... The new banner popped, and I was like, oh, there's no one I really want. Uh, maybe I'll get the four-star chick. So I was aiming for the four-star chick. And um, I th- I dropped 30 wishes on the banner, and 
the first ten, I, I got. I, I I think I got just weapons. The second one, I got the freaking this dude, uh, new new uh, Razor Boy, Sino. So I got him. So I'm in the process of leveling him up. And then I wished another ten uh, because I was like, I still didn't get my four star. And then I got this guy, Tignari, like the you know the one from the last banner. So I got a, a bunch of like Husbando uh, dudes all of a sudden. And I'm like, I, I didn't do any of that, man. Like, I didn't want them. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for them. I just, just got really lucky. I normally don't get this lucky. Hey, buddy. What you doing? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand still. We're going to pop you a little bit. All right, right. Come on. Here, you do that. You do this. This is what happens when you don't have any fire people on your team. Alright, where is this? Hey, buddy. Alright. Man, I haven't done any of the ones over here in so long. I forgot what they were actually like. Oh, let me switch over to the team that I'm actually training. I keep cycling through all, all these uh, different teams. But there's one where it's like, I just want their friendship to get up high enough. <coughs> so I can get all the different, like, voice acting. Like, the thing is, it's not even like, I sit down and listen to all the voice acting. I just want to, like, say I have it. <laughs> like, I use this character long enough where they just gave me the, the vocal stuff, you know? But it is what it is. And, like, what is it? Like, for, like, uh, you know, better Barbara here. Um, where is it? Where does it show that? I thought I did it right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, I have everything unlocked because she's friendship level 10. Like, yeah, there it is. And you also get the banner, but I really don't care. Like, I don't, I don't change my banners too often. Like, it has to be something really neat. I forget what I even put mine to. Yeah, whatever that is. Oof. I haven't even done a signature. I just got a shit ton of characters. Alright, what do we got here? Yo. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be a fight. Ah, I need a pyro. I wish I could have gotten um the one chick... Uh, the better uh, Amber. I forget what her name is. I did get, um, oh, what's her name? Yeah, Yan Fei. Ready for trial. But, like, honestly, like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really. Come on. All right. I had to drop the freaking hammer. Oh, no, I want to talk to Patchy the Curious. There's no such thing as a perfect plan when you're on an adventure. How are you going to make any progress at all if you keep deliberating like this? I don't know. Just, all right. Okay, go. Yes, let's research whatever the frick it is. Patchy. Okay. Gotta go down south. I don't think I'll need her. Watch, I'm going to fight like an ice dude, and I should have kept her around. But I'm trying to level up my friendship with Cole. Yeah, yeah. Everything's ready. She's such a hippie. Oh, do I just kill these guys? Oh, I can do that. When in doubt, murder. Oh, for, forgot I didn't have... What's his name? Ah, no. Nah, I just want to grab everybody. Ooh. Is that it? Oh, easy. Easy. I remember when I first started playing this game, like... Running into one of those big boys was a pain. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I some of the challenges has been, like, knocked out of this game a little bit. Like, you've still got the Abyss Dungeon, but, like, I remember when I first started playing it, it, it took time. Like, you had to grind, you're like, oh, I'm not very good yet, and now it's, like, way, like, fairly easy. The only thing that kind of keeps it interesting is when you get new characters and you have to level them up. Or get used to using them for the first time. But, eh, it is what it is. 
Like, I still haven't figured out, um, uh, Yelan yeah. that well. Yeah, yeah. Sucker. Boom. Boom. Ah, crap. I messed up. Kalei hits hard. I still gotta come up with, like, a decent thing for her. I haven't really figured out what to do. Murder. Like, I gave her a bunch of decent stuff. She actually isn't too bad to use. I just know that she's not properly optimized. Oh, I'm in the frickin' soup. Ow. That's okay. Alright, yeah, buddy. Here, let's grab all that. Oh, really? Hey, come here. Come here. Here, we're gonna go collect some people. Where are you? you oh, come on. Gross. Uh, we'll save it for the big boy. Oh, there we go. Alright, easy, easy peasy. Okay, and we should have one more somewhere. Here we go. Why they stick it right there? The teleporter's so far away. How can I ever travel that far? Alright, buddy. Let's go. I'm really liking the new area, though, the desert area. Um, and the last story that I did, like, I, I should have streamed it. Like, at first I was just like, all right, I want to I wanna just get through this so we can do the new Archon Quest stuff. And um, I was just, like, skipping through it. And then halfway through it, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about, like, we are talking about festivals, but we're doing a festival inside of, like, a fucking time loop. And I was like, oh! <gasps> What? It was Groundhog Day for Genshin Impact, and it was an actually, like, decently written mystery. And I got so stoked, and then when I was done with it, I was like, there were actual rewards in this, there was a little bit of character development, I, I like, actually felt for one of the characters, I was like, this is, this is what we want, and this is what I want, at least. Like, I get so tired of like, oh, look, there's a festival that's happening. Let's go do some random stuff. And uh, like just the barest minimum of a story. And this one was just like so story driven that it was it was a welcome like refresher as to like what this game can accomplish. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, calm the fuck down, sir. I don't know. I I got so like I was telling my my one buddy that plays this game on occasion, um, I because I think he stopped for a while because it, it just got too repetitive. I was like, listen, if you start this new one and you get to this one story arc, like you you learn a little bit of a, a trade secret about um, Catherine, and you're just like, oh, what? And even Paimon's like, ah. <laughs> Did we just learn that weird secret? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, Paimon. It's it's a pretty big one. Um, which makes you question a lot of things in this. Well, not a lot of things, just some of the things in this game. I don't know. It, it was a good moment. Like, and they're finally r unraveling some of the the bigger mysteries in this game. Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler. Why is she I'm talking so much? We are grateful for your assistance. Does she normally do that? Do I always skip this part? Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted Oh, you. no, this is new. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. Oh, why are you talking to me so much, lady? <laughs> Freaking Paimon. When we heard that you were short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a Is this just like an earlier script? Assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Huh? Why is that? That's right. 
Oh, great. We're going to talk about the harvest season. And for the capital of Tibet, it's also the all important winemaking season. Yeah, we're going to talk about wine and crap. Their fresh produce. And all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top quality ingredients. See, they, they get so hyper focused on these like weird minute details, which makes it more realistic. But like I don't know. Who's thin? Yes, I swear I'm not. Oh, these two idiots. Acting Grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late. Oh god. Wait up. It's gonna be like, oh, we gotta go save a shipment or something like that. I wanna know, like Why do those oh. look so rusty? Who's that? Kaya? Well, it's hello there. If it isn't the traveler in Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Oh, what a dick. Kaya! Just the person we need. Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Avonia's headquarters all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. See, he doesn't even look brown. He just looks red. The Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean... I think it's because he's constantly, like, frozen. To go through it. That's like skin irritation from being put up against the cold for too long. He said Jean! Oh. Isn't that Varka? The leader of that Who the hell is Varka? So, what did Varka say in the letter? How's the expedition going? I don't know. Will you shut up and let's go find this guy? So interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? <laughs> grand Master. Sounds like a Grand Wizard if you ask me. normal, isn't it? Bet you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. <laughs> Sounded Western or anything. Pretty hard not to get what uh, hyped up. And we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> the acting grandmaster is very gracious. Oh, it's a lady? I thought it sounded like a dude's name. Quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a Oh wait, never mind. Yeah. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Why do you say ladies is that? Did I I just misheard? Since this has piqued your interest. Why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. Yeah, it's, miss our it's probably just an control. old version of a dick pic. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure, let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine. See you soon. Aw, Catherine. All right, take care now. She's so well mannered. Okay, well, I did come here of ballads and brews. Oh, this is gonna be stupid. Here, let's go finish up with this. Thank you for completing. Let's com let's let's do all of our daily stuff before we uh deal with that. I'm I might even like skip this particular uh quest because I want to focus on the uh, the ones that can uh, expire. God, I have so many freaking characters. They gotta come up with more stuff to like, so that you use these characters more often. I mean, it's like, dependent on occasion, or whatever the case is. Oh, I gotta kill this thing a few times. Where is it? Actually, where... What about you? What do you need for talents? Ascend... Yeah, I gotta find a frickin' scarabs all over the place. They're hard to find, too. So we only got eight. Uh, it's probably gonna require twelve. I gotta beat this thing like three or four times. Probably four, maybe five. So let's, uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna, should I deal with the, the weekly bosses at this point? Like, I've beaten them so many freaking times. I feel like I'm sitting on so much material. I could do that later in the week. Let's go kill this thing. Let's go kill the, uh, the Electro Regis Vine. Which I, I feel like if I did this with, um, Ganyu, it would be easier. Maybe I'll do that. Normally, I like to do Shenha and, um, uh, what's your face? Uh, oh, new sword lady chick with the ice powers. Oops. No, 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 no. No, 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 me, sir. He's a bad me, sir. All right, we're going to swap out. What are my oh, Ayaka. Oh, it would help if I actually swapped to the right team. 
But we're gonna let. Oh god. Fucking Mike. If if only I had a mod that could ban you. I love you too, Mike. How you doing? Huh? What's what's going on? How's it hanging? Dude, I woke up this morning at like 6.30 and I saw your stream was up. I was like, no fucking way. Like, what the fuck are you doing up, bro? I fucking missed. Whatever. Yo, this game is it has gotten good. What was that? Why is he just like bowing? Here, let's pop this. Yeah, yeah. Little thing there. Can you freaking fall down, please, sir? Alright, so it's not easier with her. Pop this. <laughs> How many places have you been banned from? I feel like. They're like, like real life places. Like, I'm sure you've been booted out of places. You've been kicked out of hotels. You've been like, I don't know, disavowed by the the government. Like, what what happens if you get banned from my channel? Not not a lot. Just adding to the friggin' list, you know. Like, my favorite character is Mike the Geese, A.K.A. Zinyan. <laughs> If, if if Mike the Geese could pick a character to to emulate or be, it would probably be Zinyan. Honestly, uh, I think Ganyu is my favorite character. Um, but like I've put her on retirement because I think she, like, this this bow just kills everything. I don't even think I've got her best bow. I've got like some. What do I got? I got the oh, I've got the Amos spell. Okay, never mind. That's a pretty good freaking bow. Um. Yeah, I think ultimately my favorite has been Ganyu, and my second, my follow up to her would be Mona. Uh, but Mona is very specific uh, on where you can use her, so I never really like dig into her as often as I like. Uh, but she hits hard. But Ganyu, she's good for almost any situation unless you're going up against like ice creatures and stuff. Like I'm a, I'm a big fan. And, like, she, look at this. Like, two of these, we've almost killed this thing. Like, pff, no hassle. No hassle. Uh, and it's not just because she's OP. She's just, she's easy to play. Um, even if she wasn't OP, uh, she's good in a lot of different kits. But, I don't know. Uh, what about you guys? Like, Ambu Glitch? Uh, what's your favorite character? And Mike, we all know you, who's who yours is. Yours is frickin' what's his face? Where where's the broken healer? Uh no, not Jin Kuei. You like Bennett. You fucking like Bennett. Why? Because he's he's broken. <laughs> he can't be a part of any team. He's solo. He's uh he's just a broken little man. Just kidding. Alright, let's see. Uh we wanna do this one. Triumph like a hero. Ow, son of a bitch. Yeah, I feel like God is a well. Then she's also the most like temp, like uh, like even tempered character. That probably helps. I know nothing about. It. Yeah, I know it's Zin Yan, as I said, because that, that's like the the rocker in you. Hootie Owl is queen shit. Who the fuck is Hootie Owl? Which one's Hootie Owl? I don't think I have. Hootie Owl. Alright, so if we took Ganyu off the plate, because she, she's like an all-around fan favorite, who would you pick as your favorite? Let's see. Hold on. Let me... Let me I mean, I love Zhang Li. He's got a... Who Tao. Oh, Hu Tao. Yeah. Hu Tao's awesome. I fucking love Hu Tao. I really, really started liking uh, Raiden. Because, like, the whole duality thing, maybe it speaks to... The, I'm going to get a little bit astrological here. Uh, maybe it's because of the whole Gemini that's inside of me. Uh, you know, there's that duality that's happening there. She's cool as shit. Brings down the, the thunder. Um, has Is housing a god is also just a vessel. 
Like, you don't know what the fuck you're dealing with. Like, it's... It, like, some days it wakes up and you're like, oh, this is just a normal person. Other days you it, it wakes up, it's a god. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. What are we gonna do now? Oh. This level has introduced one of the most annoying fucking characters and I, I can't stand it. The... The chick with the weird glasses. Ugh. Dude, the, this the, this is the end. I, I had just finished this. I played it for like three hours yesterday. And this character and this festival, like, I, I fucking hate the festivals. I hate it when they just like sit around and talk about like, oh, let's talk about like the fruit that we're going to eat. This one, it, it started off that way. It's like, hey, here's a new character. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then it turned into Groundhog Day. They did a whole story where you're in a time loop. And you have to figure out what the fuck is going on. And I was, I was thoroughly invested in the story. I didn't think that would ever happen with this game. One of the few times I was like, huh, I'm actually interested like how they're interpreting this and how they're 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 doing this um and this character that they introduced um has an interesting perspective on stuff like one of the few times i was genuinely interested in the story like i always forget like the main story is we're looking for her brother oh and you f you find out like a little like secret about Catherine as well it's freaking cool this is the only good story so far. Oh, there, there's a there's a spoiler, by the way. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. After all, yeah, this whole segment was. It was almost like um, like watching a sci-fi film, like a despotic, uh, uh. Like how the government controls you, like it's it was good. You already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already. Yeah, spill the beans. According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, that's a fucking mouthful though. They said another name that was really freaking long. Okay, okay. But aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. Actually, I wonder what Sumeru is supposed to be imitating. Like, obviously, Mondstadt is like like European countries, like France, Britain, like ancient. Um, you've got your desert places, so Arabia. Uh, you've got like your island, Asian city, which obviously is like Japan. You've got China. But what the fuck is Sumeru? Because like the music they play makes you think it's like India, but then not really. So I don't know. You still remember that female scholar named Sataria? No. Sataria. Paima remembers now. Isn't she the one who's always trailing behind the grand sage of the academia? Yeah, buddy. We ran into her basically every time the Subzero's festival repeated itself. Oh, Mike. Um. My uh, one of my uh, coworkers, he's ma he's 3D printing the housing of like an SM7B, and I'm gonna see if I can make an inexpensive, relatively high quality sounding SM7B with just the housing and like a SM58. Actually, I have an old Behringer that I might use instead to see if I can get that to sound like an SM7B. I don't know when it's done. I'm going to uh, do a side by side. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you up and be like, "Can you tell the difference? Like, does this sound better? Or this sound better? I might need to get another cloud lifter at some point." Because honestly, that's probably where the uh, the best sound comes from. The cloud lifter probably uh, you know that boosts that clean signal and you know just gives it a nice little gentle fall off. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Am I slow? The fuck, man? What? What do you mean? Am I slow? Yeah, and it it's apparent I am very fucking slow. 
Wouldn't it be better to return and light up part of the night sky? Yeah, that's cool. But they said the circuitry is is relatively close to the same capsule that's in an SM58. And I don't know. Uh, this dude did side by sides when it was like placed similarly apart. You know the 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 initial like pop screen and that stuff. The diaphragm, not the circuit. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a fun experiment. It's also relatively inexpensive to do, and I could always build the uh the the mic that I they that I sacrificed. Good night, Ambu Glitch. Thanks for hanging out. The circuit in the 58 is passive. How can they... Shh. Quiet. Just let me try, bro. Ugh. Here, huh? Where is this video? From my past observations... Tataria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Mm. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping a day seven, for her. That will be our chance. To prepare, Good. let's go check out some of her favorite spots and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Alright, here. I'm gonna send this to you. I'm just gonna do it through this chat. Uh, OBS. Wait, can I do this? Yeah. Here, I sent you that. That dude's claiming some serious shit right there, man. Some serious shit. N and not the same. Like, similar in tonal quality. Uh, not to the point where they're, like, identical, but it's pretty freaking close. Where Where was this? Electro Regisvine. Where the fuck are you? I swear, I, I fought this thing so many times. There it is. But yeah, it, it's it's just I don't know. As I said, for for the for an experiment, it's kind of worth it. <laughs> Am I slow? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're so nice to me sometimes. Oh well, my ears aren't that trained. That's probably what it is. I don't know when he like later on he's like cutting in between the two of them. I have a hard time distinguishing which one's what. But I also my ears aren't anywhere near as refined as your shit. Can you like stand still for a second, bro? All right, smack your head down. Smack your head down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what to look for when it comes to, like... Uh, when it comes to, like, looking for tonal qualities and stuff. I don't think I... I, I you know, I haven't spent enough time with um, mics and shit to be able to do that. Just with you. Down, butter. Yeah, this is a better team. I like. Uh, sorry, gone you. I love you, but not for this. So you can hear it right off the. Is it like night and day, or is it like relatively close? Like, like, am I making this shit up in my head? Is he just like playing off of the? Uh, Maybe it's the same fucking sound and he's just pretending to put in the cut just to fool all of us. Where's the new chick? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm, I'm following the right thing. And while we're at it, actually, let's claim this. Claim. And then we can unlock. Oh. Those are all unlocked. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Here, we're gonna... We're just gonna teleport here. And just chill for a second. Actually, we'll, we'll teleport somewhere else. 
Because I want to I wanna listen. With my shitty task cam. Fucking cans. Alright, so here, let's kill the sound here. Let's check it out. Hold up. Oh, no! There you go. So we're gonna check this out. It's there, but what is different is that this costs four hundred dollars, and this handheld microphone turned it into an SM7B on a budget. Now <laughs> see what these things. Are He's probably not even using a cloud lifter. To the real deal, the SM7B. Because SM are both microphones side by side with similar settings in pretty much the same position from me to the microphone. We have the Shure SM7B here and the SM58 in that custom enclosure that we've been talking about in this video. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll cut back and forth. My name is Caleb Pike. This is a simple microphone test to see how these two compare. We're using the exact same official... Yeah, there's a little bit of a muddiness to the, um, the SM58. Um, there's definitely, like, the SM7B is that, I think, and you could correct me, is, uh, it's got clearer sound, but still retains all that low end. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you're right, when it switches over to the, uh, 58... Yeah, you could tell it's being blown out a little bit. I think it's still pretty good, all things considered. <laughs> eh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel like um, if I ever wanted to start a podcast with a, uh, a few of my friends, <laughs> I feel like it could set those up as like a better sound. Like, I don't know, a, a 58 sounds good by itself, but... I don't know, it's still missing something. And that boosted low end, I don't know. We'll see. I'll fuck around with it. Because that would be rude if I were to just, like, use my, uh, use this mic and gave all my friends shitty, like, Behringer mics or, um, or, or SM58s. But, Because eh. I feel like we got to make everything equal. And it's easier to, to make four of those things than it is to uh, buy four SM7Bs with cloud lifters. You know? This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. Uh, so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough. I do like the way this mic sounds. Like, that is one thing I feel I did right. <laughs> I still blow it out a little bit sometimes. Like, it's, it's definitely clipping a little. But... Oh, I'll bring it down just a hair. My one buddy's uh, friend's wife, like, she popped on to troll me for a little bit. Oh, you were there for that. Um, I think before you popped on, she's like, yeah, your your mic does sound pretty good. I was like, yeah, shit, yeah. That's some creepy-ass kid. My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? Hmm. Of course, of course. In that case. Oh God, she's an evil cat lady. Uh -huh. It would seem that Harut and Marut are quite wary of you. Oh. Perhaps at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. I hope so. Hmm. Fuck the gods. The god of animal, We're here to. <laughs> Do those count? <laughs> hmm? Oh, nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for Yeah, we have been fucking around with the gods. Uh, in health. I don't no care about aspects. my love life. No problem it's shit. Um. Are you gonna get a weird vision? <laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. Lies. Your life shall continue on for Mike, you ever try getting a reading? Like, has your wife ever been like, hey, we're doing this, and you're like, I don't want to fucking do this, and just dragged you to go get your reading done? Like a palm reading or something like that? Did you two spoil my divination? 
I've never read a fortune so absurd. Meow. Asshole cat. Uh, actually, Paimon thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. <clears throat> Sacrifice for the, the gods. The orientation of today's celestial matrix is uh, suboptimal. As such, there will be no charge. Oh, Isn't Mike, so? I need to figure out something to, like, something anime-related to be for Halloween. Is there anything you... Wait, I, I can't remember. Are you into anime at all? on your next visit. Perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels of fate. Okay. Haru and Naru. All right, we're not going to continue that. Let's go kill this thing one more time. I think I got to get, what, 20 all together? Like 12 plus 8? That's 20, right? I can't do fucking math. Yeah, that's one thing I did luck out. Good mic sound. Imagine what I could do. Actually, no, it's, it's, it's still all would be shit. All right, stand the fuck still. Oh god. Stabilize. Manifest. Take flight. Okay, drop your head. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, he's doing something new. Um, oh, there it is. Should get in front of the eye. Okay, okay. There it is, all right. Here. We're gonna do one of these, we'll do one of these, we'll do this, this. Wah, wah, wah. Easy peasy. Got one more of those to do. Oh, let's go see Tubby. I haven't I haven't done that stuff in a minute. Maybe I'll get a whole stack of uh, uh, coins or whatever it is. Be able to buy some books. I need to buy some books. I need to f I need to finish getting Chobbits and start on Berserk. That's what I need to do. But yeah, Mike, I forget if you're into anime. I don't I don't think you're you're like a tradition. I think you're an old school weeb. Probably into like Akira and like weird stuff. What are you into? Weird stuff. Yeah. Love me some weird stuff. Alright, there's nothing else that I want. If you ever Yeah, 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 stupid ass tubby. Oh, you were I've been talking to myself so long without you, Nyker. Nyker. I f I'm trying to remember. Were you a weeb back in the day? I am sending messages too fast. Jesus a Christ! Embraces its duty. As a jeweler You're, you always a. Uh, oh shit! I just realized I didn't finish looking for everything up there. <laughs> All right, whatever. Who cares? You did some anime watching. Okay, okay. Little DBZ, some FM. Okay, okay. FMA. That's classic. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to, um, what I want. Like, I don't have a big, um, Halloween costume collection. It's literally, like, one Darth Vader outfit and, like, a, um, a, what's it called? Like, a, a shitty pirate outfit. Um, I was thinking of, like, getting a Roy Mustang outfit from FMA. Ooh. I don't know if I could sit down for that. I'm going to finish this up in, like, the next, like, half an hour or so. And then I've I've got some catching up to do, but I was thinking, yeah, I I want I I don't know, but I don't know if I'm cool enough to pull off a Roy Mustang. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me know. I, I might be into it. Next Sunday, I'm seeing the kid. 
It all depends on what time I come back from seeing the kid. Like, I'll I'll be free. I'll, I'm, I'm willing to fuck around. Yeah, let me know. But, um, if, if I was fucking jacked, I would be Scar. Um, from FMA. This dude. I, like, because it's not often you run into, like, a brown character. And, like, he's dope as shit. And actually, hold on. Um, let me see if I can find it. Because, like, one, it's a simple outfit. Like, you get a cloak. You could go for this one, which is a little bit more badass. But I would go with, like, the hooded thing. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're D&Ding tonight? You streaming that at all? And, hold on, where is it? Scar. Full FMA. Real name. So, there was, like, this... Oh, not... Okay, okay. There was, like, a TikTok trend, and I think it was a song that included this dude's name. <laughs> now, the the trend was like the I I can't remember if hold on where like let's see if anyone mentions it. Ah, uh, fuck. There's a uh, there was a TikTok trend that uses the hold on. that use oh, here it is. Goku. But like I don't know which one came first. I, I bet you the the TikTok trend thing. Let's see. It's like the ending. Oh, here it is. This is it. So I don't like this is later, but this is essentially the same name. Oh god, here's a Genshin version of it. Yo! This is so fucking stupid. Six hundred thousand views plus. But yeah, yeah. Uh, like, that's essentially... I, I know this is old as shit. So I I don't know if if that's like a like a common that, like I Japanese um uh like tongue twister or something and like that, but it's it's weird because somebody pointed that out. I was like, wait, what the fuck? That no and yeah, that that TikTok trend is at least doing the same thing that Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood did like years ago. But it's the ending of a show, which makes me think it's like some kind of like Japanese like tongue twister. Oh no. He had already saved enough Mora over all these years. Man, look at you. You're you being all social and shit. Nowadays. Oh, the, my conclusion is happiness in his retirement. My conclusion is um still worth the try. <laughs> for 30 bucks. It's not even like my my coworker he's making the uh the housing for free. Um I'm probably going to spend 10 bucks on the um the foam. I've already got the mic, and that cost me like twenty bucks uh, a while ago, like like three years ago. What's the fucking worst that happens? It sounds like shit, or it, it or I and I rebuild the mic, and I just end up with this weird housing thing. So I, I mean, I'm gonna give it a try, and then um, I'll do a side by side, and you could you could tell me how shitty it is, and be like, this dude didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. It also gives me an opportunity, like if I really want to try. I like I I could always use an SM7 uh, an SM58, like it's a classic mic. You can't go wrong with an SM58. Um, and if I ever decide to like actually do like live vocals and shit, what the fuck? Here, I wonder if we could do this. Here, we're gonna we're gonna climb the tower. Oh, that didn't work. He broke it instantly. 
which one? Uh, I I am a fan of Audio Tech uh, Tequina. I used to have a um, a, what's it called? A uh, sorry, I'm like trying to find the eye. I used to have a head uh, headset, and it was one of my favorite cans. No, I know they do legit stuff. They they pair up against um like Sennheiser. And I fucking love Sennheiser. Oh, those are pricey, ain't they? Well, I'll look it up in a second. Oh yeah, hundred bucks. AT twenty twenty. AT twenty twenty. Oh, one of those? Yeah, yeah, I've seen a few people using them. I have to check that out. Interessante. Eighty bucks. I bet you oh wait, how much is uh it used? Do we have any used options? Jeweler cherishes their gems. And blah blah blah. Oh, uh, it uses like 80 bucks. Why'd you give it away if it's so fucking amazing? Yeah, I'd fuck with that. But you know how it is. Everyone wants that SM7B, including me. Uh, what was that looking for? Oh, right, right, right. Oh, did I tell you what the fuck happened? Um, I have the 7B for close high gain stuff and the 58 for in yeah, yeah, it makes a sense. I have a 57 for um, for for uh, miking up cabs, and what else? I got a 57. I've got I've got a uh, Audio Techina. It looks like it's like their version of an SM58. Um, but I can't remember what it is. That, that one I use for, um, like indoor dialogue when I used to shoot film, when I used to shoot short films. Nah, that one's the shit. I used to use that one all the time. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these mics. As I said... <laughs> At one point, I wanted to do like a um, uh, like a podcast with a bunch of my boys, and I got all the equipment, and I was like, guys, I got all this shit, and everyone was like, cool, like, don't you want to do this? So I, we're afraid we're going to say some shit and get fired if we ever get popular. I'm like, we're not going to get popular, we're just doing this for fun. <laughs> and they all, like, one of the dudes was like, oh, I'm kind of a manager at this place now, I can't fucking do this shit, and I was like, Ugh. He's like, you say some wild shit, Chris. I was like, and? Like, eh, freedom of speech. Yay. Did you just say shit building? Hold on, let me see if I can find this, uh, this mic real quick. One second. I'm going to let them talk for a minute. I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire childhood staring at the ships going in and out of the port. I came to Sumeru to study. I failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. But I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. Uh, sure. But you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. So this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. That's right. It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. <laughs> 
She's staring at the shits. That's all I heard. My mic, uh, my headset somehow got wrapped up in my chair. And I can't figure out how to undo it. But, um, what was it? Where is... So, I just realized I've got more mics than I thought. I've got this little Audio Tequina. This is a uh, AT875R little cardioid. I was using that for a minute for, like, on-camera shit. And indoor stuff, and then I found out that like the indoor ones were uh, weren't really used for indoor. Like no one uses that for indoor audio capturing. Instead, they use stuff like this. And I've got this guy, also an Audio Tequina. This is a ATM six ten. This one I used I used on a bunch of shit. And then I also have. Yeah, as I said, I, I had a bigger collection than I thought. Oh, the uh, the the Shure SM57. This guy. This is what I use when I uh, when I was miking up my um, my cabs. Like when I first started like recording shit, like I didn't have a direct interface, and I I kind of wanted the the natural sound of the um, the cab, or as best as possible. It's still a you know, um, a solid state. And then to also do that, I actually start off with this thing. It's a Audix D2, which I think is often used for, like, like drum kits and shit. So, oh shit, Where the fuck that come from? Ugh, fuck. Oh, here. Okay, all right. We good, we good, Mike. I lost, I lost the thing. But yeah, the, um... I don't know, I... I like mics. I just don't get the the chance to use them as often as I'd like. Ah. That's okay. All right, we'll drop all this shit over here. Oh, and then I've got a bunch of um Behringer's. Hold on, let me see. Ah. Yeah, and I got this guy. Got like four of these. They they were like 15, 20 bucks a pop. This is a Behringer XM8500. This is their version of a um, SM7B. But I feel like I, I'm going to do what I can with this thing and see if I can get a, um, a decent sound out of it. I mean, it it's a little bit muddy. It's a, it's a live mic. Hey, come on, come on. Behringer makes good shit. They've got decent preamps. Don't be a fucking, like, asshole to poor Behringer. Like, uh, my first mixing board, I still have a, a Behringer mixing board somewhere. Actually, if I ever need to expand my shit, that's what I'll end up doing. Alright. Let's uh, keep rolling with this fucking quest. You really dislike Behringer? That's rude. So, was that everybody? Their old preamps were supposedly legendary. Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Uh, what's the point of all the information we've collected? The inside of the mic. Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problem. I don't know. I, I think at the end of the day, I could still get away with just, problems. um, just these little dudes. I think it's more for visual that you're make that I'm making it look like a SM57 or SM7B. That's what it is. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. But yeah, Mike, I've got mics. Got a problem with that? So many fucking mics. Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages. 
I completely lost what they were talking about. Oh, they're trying to discover why, uh, like, the this group of people, like, put everyone into a fucking time loop. But, but now it's kind of, like, getting lost in its own dialogue. simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers, she would definitely be weary of us, and we may not get anywhere. But... I'm going to do a whole stream using one of these at some point, just to piss you off. Would you even know? That's the real question. Would you even care? You probably would. In your fine ass ears. Possess them through the Akasha. Imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King. And then convey our made up will of the Scarlet King. As long as everything. But yeah, I am thinking I'm uh, I'll get a Roy Mustang outfit. She'll never guess that we had Just to have it on on lock just in case. Actually, I gotta call this guy back. I'm gonna quit in a minute. Here, let's get through all this. Normally, I'm up for like another hour or two, but I've got I've got reality hitting me at the moment. Let's see. All right, Nahida. All right. On that note. I'm going to peace. I'll leave you on a, a shot of Shencha. But yeah, um, that's in the works. I'm going to see if... Uh, don't, no, stop. I must, Michael, I must. That's okay. You're going you're gonna to take over. You're going to start streaming, smoking, making music, doing like all the productive shit I wish I could do or had the ambition you need a lurk? Ah, uh, who can... Uh, I don't even know how to fucking send you to somebody else. I don't even know who to send you to. Damn it, Mike. I'd let you lurk on me all night long. You know what I'm saying? Off stream. Anywho. Alright, well, I'm ending stream. I'll figure it out. Alright, fine. I'll do that. Let's see. Alright, well, to, to all the merry gentlemen. Raid... Selen X Z. I don't even know who that is. I'm just going with Yup. Oh God. Selen six. Mind be purged. All right. Be Peace out. I'll catch you around. Hopefully, we'll. Uh, I'll join you on your anime stream. What are you gonna watch? I tell you know what surprised me. Latest, my guy. Oh, uh, what's my what's my closing out phrase? Uh, to all my bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, good night. <laughs> yes, raid now. Raid now, you sons of bitches. Go in my name and claim victory for the horde. Raid.